Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I am going to be vlogging this week and I'm actually heading out on a girl's trip to Palm Desert and Palm Springs with my friend Jill. I am so excited about this. We're going for two nights and the hotel looks very cute. <laughs> Trying to pare down what to bring with me as usual. I always take out a bunch of stuff and then figure out what I actually want to bring. Trying to not overdo it. It's only a couple days, so I'm packing up for that and we're gonna leave in about 30 minutes. And I need to get dressed because as you know, I am always in pajamas. <laughs> I like to lay everything out at first so I can see what's going on. But I have all of my toiletries and makeup here. And then I have swimsuits, underwear, hats all in this little bag and then this is pajamas i'm just bringing one pair of sweats sleep shorts and a big soft t-shirt these two dresses i'm bringing for dinners and brunch here's my mask selection <laughs> i love to have options depending on what i end up wearing i have my black one piece from h&m that i love to wear as a bodysuit I just pulled these shorts out of storage and I forgot that I had them and now I want to <laughs> wear them <laughs> because they're so soft and comfortable. These jean shorts I don't think I'm gonna bring. These also just came out of storage. These are my Levi's and I got them last year. This is one of those things where it was on sale at Urban Outfitters for I think $25 and these are super high quality jean shorts and I love the off-white color. I have my black shorts from Target that I love. This is the Wild Fable brand and I love how these fit so recommend. This dress I was maybe gonna wear today in the car but now I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring and then I just have my pink sweat shorts that I like to wear over swimsuits. Super easy. All right, I'm all packed, heading out. I'm wearing this bodysuit from Zara and those shorts I showed you. Wow, it's been a while. Probably should have steamed these. <laughs> and I'm super ready to hit the road. We made it to Palm Desert and we just got to our hotel. We're staying at the Sands and it's about 30 minutes outside of Palm Springs in Palm Desert and it is so gorgeous. The room is insane. It's like Moroccan inspired and everything about it is a dream. And I'm sitting out on our little patio and it's all pink and cute. And the floor is just everything I could ever want. <laughs> we're just relaxing right now and then we're gonna head to dinner in a little bit but I had to show you the room because it's my favorite and I can't wait for tomorrow. It's gonna be a day of relaxing and going to Palm Springs, getting dinner, all the things I love in one day. <laughs> Greetings! I just got back from a massage and I am feeling so good. <laughs> it has been so long since I've done something like this. Just had a full day of nothing. We slept in, laid around, went to the pool and just relaxed in the shade, got massages. Jill is finishing hers right now and then I'm probably gonna go to the pool and she will meet me there and then we're going to Palm Springs for dinner and I am just feeling so good. I'm still in that daze where I don't know if I fell asleep or not or if I was just closing my eyes for an hour and enjoying it. <laughs> 
I don't often allow myself to relax and that's my own doing. I've been pushing myself on the weekends and after dinner with work and it's time to scale it back a little bit and just schedule myself in a more creative way because it's just been a little crazy. <laughs> The last few weeks in general have just been a little bit of a roller coaster, but you know, there's there's peaks and there's valleys. <laughs> I'm feeling really good about being here right now and I'm so grateful to be here and this hotel is beautiful. If you're ever in this area, definitely come here. It's small and intimate, so it's not too crowded. Every inch of this place is stunning and the spa was very nice, gotta say. I will insert some footage of the spa it's beautiful just all white and pink loved it and yeah i think i'm gonna go put my swimsuit on get some spf on this bod and lay out for a little bit not too long just a little bit <laughs> really quick how cute is this little window into the bathroom i wonder if i can open it right now oh yes check it out I love all the tile at this hotel. Charm City, gotta say. Very cute details here. What time is dinner again? 7.45? Yeah, it's four. Uh-huh. I love that hot as balls is like a form of temperature for some people. You know? Oh, right. Yeah, it's <laughs> um, hot as balls Fahrenheit. <laughs> I didn't put shampoo or conditioner in my hair and it's drying like it would if I went to the beach and it dried. Well, that's cool. That's yeah. cheese from the other night. <laughs> the essentials only. And my water bottle, of course. I'm home, back in my own bathroom. <laughs> I just took a shower. My hair is wet, as you can see, and I am about to get it whipped into shape, okay? This hair oil is so good. I'm linking it below. It makes my hair better. I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> I usually just brush it out and push some towards the back and let it dry like this. And then I'll probably end up straightening my ends with my straightener. Yesterday we got home around one, went to Trader Joe's on the way home, which was a highlight. <laughs> And then I landed here and I just got some work stuff done because it's the middle of the week and I just took care of a few things and then we just kind of crashed, had dinner, watched Mad Men of course, and I didn't even unpack <laughs> from the trip, which is something I need to do today. I need to get organized with my stuff. I feel like it's just a catch up day, like I'm cleaning, unpacking. I have that call, I might have to run an errand, and then we're going to Bennett's parents' house for dinner, and I'm really excited. Silk pillowcase update. I love it. I love it so much. My hair feels amazing, and my skin has been on a good one too. I recommend if you've been on the fence. It's great. <laughs> See, I have a picture of you on my phone. You don't have a picture of me on your phone. Are you ill? I have oh, hundreds. Oh, a bunch of flowers. That's not me. Look. That's okay. That's not a good thing. Did you change your background? Arbles. Look, flowers, flowers, flowers. And then you look at mine, and it's that to remind me how happy I am when I'm with you. 
Because you said put put what you want on your background. Put what you want on your background and it will come true. So here's a picture of me happy next to you. You record? Yeah. That's intimate. <laughs> You're intimate. Virgles, if you could go anywhere in the world right now, where would you go? If I could, then, then I, I would. I'd go, go to France, France and then come back. You want a salad? No. I am making tofu salad as seen in my what I eat in a day video. <laughs> Winked. Except I have a couple notes. First one is that I got extra firm tofu this round, and that was a huge mistake. Unless Trader Joe's extra firm tofu just isn't the one. I wasn't a fan. We, I have it here. It's just, uh, as you can imagine, a little bit firmer than the firm. I like the firm one, not the extra firm. And the, oh, the other thing is that I pan, what would you call that, Burgles? What did I do with it instead of bake it? You sauteed it. I sauteed the tofu and browned it on all sides and then added the sauce on the pan. And it took just as long as if I were to, well, maybe a little bit shorter than if I were to marinade and bake. But I highly recommend the bake method over the pan and also get firm tofu. I do feel like that's a preference thing though, but to each their own tofu. Here she is. I will link the recipe below and my what I eat in a day video. And you can see exactly how I made this salad. My favorite. Also my Manny Me right now is this green floral pattern. I love it. It was great for the trip this week. It was really fun. Just wiped down the coffee table and I gotta tell ya, <laughs> glass is very satisfying when it's clean, I have to say. And then I have my little bunches of lilies. Ever since I got this little vase on H&M Home, this shelf just feels right. It's fun to put something in there every once in a while. I'll link this print in the description. This is one from my print shop. And this little painting I did with my friend Kim a few months ago. I want to do more stuff like that more often. I changed again. I was wearing this shirt all day, but then I put on this little romper that's very comfortable. And uh, I think we're heading out. Right, Barks? Oh, we're ahead. We're heading. I'll show you where we're going. It's a very, very cute place. <laughs> this little truck. Isn't this cool? It's so cute. Parlor Donuts. So this one in the, the middle is the Reese's. So it's like a Reese's peanut butter cup. This is called the French toast. Yeah. And then this is called the turtle cheesecake. Turtle cheesecake. Yeah. yeah. They smell insane. The detail. Yeah. Oh, Where's guys. Joey? Joey, no doggy donuts for you, Joey. Who that? Hello. You're being Where's your truly You're truly being so behaved. Um, we are home from Bennett's parents' house. We had dinner. It was so good. And I'm just all filled up with uh, maple sandwiches. <laughs> I am getting ready for bed and I thought I would share my nighttime skincare routine with you. I just brushed my teeth. Trust me. <laughs> I have a Quip toothbrush and this is what it looks like. Standard. It uh, vibrates. <laughs> My first step is to take off my makeup with simple micellar water. I've been using this forever and I use this before cleansing even if I don't have any face makeup on. Like today, I only have concealer under my eyes but the rest is just nothing. It's just SPF so I want to get everything off and clean before I actually cleanse. <laughs> 
So I just do this all over. And take it off my eyebrows, mascara, eyeshadow, and just like break it up really gently. After my cellar water, I use the Good Morning Gel Cleanser by CauseRx. I've been using this forever, just like simple. I've been using it forever and I love this cleanser. It's gentle, it's soft, it's oh, such a good gel cleanser. I love it. I would say I put about a quarter size dollop on my palm and then I run the water to make it a little warmer and then just rub it in my hands like this and then and so I get it a little wet just to get it going and then again with the um, gentle rubbing. <laughs> okay, and then I wash it off. Pat dry with a clean washcloth. I use these from Target. They come in a pack of like six. <laughs> okay, my face is dry from cleansing and I am going in with my Hadalabo glycolic acid and this is probably one of my favorite things. It is so soft and it feels so refreshing. I use this morning and night before my moisturizer. It's just a little, little dollop and then I just it in. Here's the bottle for that. I will link all of this below as usual. And then finally, moisturizer. CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. Classic. I do four pumps at night, so I don't know what that means, but there we are. <laughs> I put on the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask every single night. It's the best, I love it. My favorite is the berry scent flavor, but this one is Sweet Candy. It came in a kit that I got from Sephora and it was a really good deal, so I got both. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, normal. <laughs> That's it. That's all, I'm ready for bed. <laughs> I am going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. And this week felt like it was a month long. It was so crazy how going to the desert for just a couple days made a huge difference. It was exactly what I needed and I am feeling so energized and refreshed and I had such a blast with Jill. She is the best. I will leave all of her information below so you can check out her Instagram. She is an insane floral designer. So if you love flowers, check her out. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you in the next one. Bye.